Localens. I am your host, Greer Howard, and today we are at the Philip Rush Center, and I have the absolute pleasure of talking with Kay Rocco Shields. She is the director of an incredible new film that you've got to check out, Love Is All You Need. So, Rocco, I, I saw the film yesterday, and um, I, I might just get emotional, actually, even talking about it. It was so incredible and so moving, and I want to know, from your perspective, when someone asks you, how do you describe your film, what do you say? It's very tough, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, well, Love Is All You Need depicts our world if gay and straight were reversed. So essentially, people are all bullied because they are straight. And by flipping the script, so to speak, prejudice, human rights, bullying, are really showcased in a way where audiences have to really feel um, what they are seeing, and by by doing so, it creates empathy. Mm -hmm. And in my my hopes, it will stop bullying and prejudice. And, and how did you decide what to reverse? So in the film, you know, it's normal for ever, you know, same sex couples. There was a Catholic priest who was a woman. There's an all woman football team, and there's a, a you know a quarterback you know that's the star that's a woman. So how did you decide which roles? What was the strategy there? Well. When we were first creating the world, my co-writer David Tillman and I sat down and we said, okay, if there was this inversion, what would be different and what would be the same? Mm -hmm. And ultimately, we know that the gay population doesn't look like a stereotype, so I wanted to create a world without stereotypes. Mm -hmm. But then we did feel that men and women should be on an equal playing field. So where you will see in traditional male roles, you also see females, mm -hmm. why not? So mm -hmm. there's a women's football team, there's also a men's football team. Mm -hmm. You see a female priest, but you also see a male priest in mm -hmm. the end. So it's very even, like mm -hmm. there would be no stigma as far as gender um, jobs or roles. And by stating that kind of equality, it's a really interesting kind of thought and it provokes even more thought. Mm -hmm. Um, because we should be equal. Why isn't there a female football team? Right. <laughs> I'd watch it. <laughs> Absolutely. I think a lot of people would. Now, I also want to talk about, okay, so originally this started as a short film. And let's talk a little bit about that journey. It started as a short film, was wildly successful, and has now become a, a full feature. So tell me a little bit about that journey. <laughs> How long you got? It's been a seven year process. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it started as a short because I wanted to test this idea. You can't just like make a big film and expect it like to 100% do well. So mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure, since it's never been done before in this way, I want to make sure it would work. And after going through a film, after going to a few film festivals, um, actually we actually premiered here in Atlanta. All right. And our, the short the short premiered here mm -hmm. um, in 2011. Mm -hmm and actually won the Atlanta Film wow. Festival. Um, after winning some awards and doing the circuit, the film leaked on the internet. Mm -hmm. um, and with no marketing, no press, it went to over 50 million people. Wow. And so I knew I had something. And yeah. so I used that to um, get the feature made. Mm -hmm. And it's been a challenge because it's, it's a film that's not been done before, mm -hmm. but when people see it, they get it. Yeah. And so it's very, very um, fulfilling. I want to talk about your cast. You have an incredible cast. So what was the casting process like and working with everyone? Always my vision for this and taking it to a feature level is if the short film reached 50 million people with no name talent, mm -hmm. no marketing or press, imagine what a feature can do with yeah. talent and press. And so, um, as soon as the script was written, I went I went to a bunch of my contacts in Hollywood and I said, I need the best casting director in the business. Yeah. And I found Mary Vernu mm -hmm. and Lindsey Graham of Betty Mae Casting. They cast Black Swan, Sin City, The Wrestler, every David O. Russell movie, you name it. Um, and they really have a great eye for talent. So they really helped me find the very best of the best. And it was such an amazing process. I have Brianna Evigan from the Step Up movies, yep. Tyler Blackburn from Pretty Little Liars, yep. Emily Osment from Hannah Montana, Kyla Kennedy from The Walking Dead, yeah. um, Jeremy Sisto from Clueless. It's it's just everyone in the film is from somewhere, which yep. is really, really cool. Yeah, Ana Ortiz of Devious Maids, yes, yes. Um, the girl that was in Satisfaction, she's so good in that. Um, Nossa, um, yeah, it was just so she's many amazing. people. And, and, and there's all these interesting characters and so many of them you go, oh, I remember them from this and that. So I loved, I loved that part of it. So far, what have the reactions been to the full film? 
I was, after the film premiered in Cinequest, this was its festival premiere, I was blown away because the very next day after only one screening, a woman came and found me and she was in tears and she said, are you Kay Rocco Shields? I said, yes. She said, my mother saw your film last night and she called me today for the first time in 20 years. We haven't talked because I'm a lesbian and now after seeing your film, she finally gets it. And that was so powerful to me and that just showed me that I was on the right path. Wow, wow, I just got the chills. That's I know. amazing, so that's gonna be one of thousands, I'm sure, of stories that you're going to hear, so that's gonna yeah. feel really good. The short film, you know, I had people write me from all over the world saying it changed their life, it changed their views, and so then to f hear it happen on the feature level and so quickly, mm -hmm. it just shows that the proof is there, and I just can't wait to show it to everybody. You actually can see it Thanksgiving Day on iTunes. I wanna encourage all of our viewers to do that. Go ahead and watch it. You're gonna be a believer yourself, and make sure that you share it with everyone that you know, and Rocco, thank you so much for being here today and giving us your time. Kay Rocco Shields, director of Love Is All You Need, question mark. Yes, question don't mark. forget that question yes, mark. Yes, yes, question mark. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to Behind the Lens. I am Greer Howard, and we will see you next time.